afternoon, nearly, morning, yeah, morning. Um, it's been that long of a day, actually. So you might have seen the news this morning, or last night, I got sent it this morning anyway, a few times, about avocado on toast being fattening, and people saying, I've had a few messages saying, is that true? Because, like, you've said that avocado on toast is fine before, and, yeah. So they've said avocado is fine, but not on toast, because carbs and fats trigger, like, almost like get you a bit excited, maybe make you eat more, etc. Now, just to clear this up in a nutshell, if you eat an avocado, that's less calories than if you eat avocado and toast. So that's the main reason why avocado on toast may make you put on more fat, because you'll end up eating more. Number two, there's no real protein in that meal. So it's probably assuming that you're not eating that much protein. We know that protein keeps you full up. Not to mention, it's also important for your skin, hair, nails, muscle, strength, recovery, which is pretty important when you consider how important that all is in terms of how you feel, you know, the easier it is to walk, to get up and down, to, which is needed for muscle, etc. the better your quality of life is really. So going back to this avocado thing, on toast thing, in a nutshell, it's absolutely fine. It's your overall calories that, that counts the most. And, and I can't believe there's still headlines like this out there. That, of course, if you eat, it's basically like avocado and toast. Like at least you're getting some nutrition from that. I could think of way more satisfying carbon fat combinations like cake. Like cake is carbs and fat put together in a delicious way where it's very hard for you to almost turn off and go, yeah, I've had enough. Like, like biscuits, right? Like biscuits, you have one and you're like, oh, like who can have one biscuit? Like we obviously can, but you know it's harder to have one biscuit than say, um, I don't know, one bit of chicken or you know whatever it is, like one portion of vegetables, etc. Almost like when you eat protein and vegetables, your satiety signals, your hunger signals will automatically kind of dampen down a bit. Like there's only so much vegetables and protein you can eat before you go, I'm stuffed. You mix more a choice of foods. So you have more an array of different foods and your taste buds start tingling, you've got more options so you don't get that taste fatigue as much. So of course you're gonna eat more. Hence why when you go to a buffet, you generally eat more. Hence why, hi Julie, hence why when you go to a barbecue, if you think about it, someone might have a burger, a sausage and a bit of chicken. Whereas if you were like, oh, what's for dinner tonight? If I turned around and went, we're having beef, pork and chicken, you would go, bloody hell. It's a bit, that's a lot. So it's just our thoughts and feelings sometimes about how we approach meals as well comes into it. So that was a tangent on from the avocado, but yeah, in a nutshell, it's fine. Glorified headline, again, don't stress about it too much. In a nutshell, get some protein in, in your day, make sure your calories are, are working for you and go from there. If it keeps you full up, that's fine. If it doesn't, if you're like, I have avocado on toast, but it doesn't keep me full up, then you might want to go, right, now I'll change the meal. Or if you have an avocado on toast and you're like, starving a few hours later, I'm not getting the results I want, or maybe look at the calories of it, because avocado on toast can be quite high in calories. If potentially you're having like a big avocado and it's not filling you up that much. I could go on, I could go into the fact that it's a so-called healthy food, so someone might approach that and go, I've eaten healthily today, so, Later on, I'm going to treat myself with a Snickers bar or a Mars bar or a donut because they had avocado. There's that as well. There's so many factors. And, and again, it just comes back down to personalise it for you. Speaking of which, I'm off to deliver our next session, which is 11.30. So off to do that now and meetings this afternoon. So take care. Have a great day. Enjoy the sun and speak soon.